What's up, witches? So, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, because I think I have a lot of fun making this potion, and um, I thought I would make a video and show you how to make it, And because um, I have to make some today, because I don't have any more. I'm not going to lie, I have not been taking this every single morning. I want to, and I try to. I probably take it, like, most mornings, but probably, like, three out of every days of the week, I just don't do it, because I don't have any, and I just am too lazy to make more. But anyway, so I have a pot here, just a little pot. It's probably, like, a, just a l slightly less than halfway full. I don't need a ton of water, because I only make enough for four doses at a time. So, we're going to turn this on. Wait till that starts to boil before you start adding the ingredients. Um, this is the page. Actually, let me get closer. This is the page in my Book of Shadows where I wrote the potion down. Um, the ingredients are rosebuds. These are made for tea. Um, you can't just use any kind of roses, I'm assuming. Um, but these are like made for tea. So we got rosebuds. We have lavender. I have some white pine needles, and I have some black tea. I'm just using like a tea bag that I ripped open, and I'm going to add that to it. And um, while I think it's important, I don't know if this is necessary, I really don't know anything about this, but um, while I add each ingredient into the potion, I say what it's for. So the lavender is for astral release because this is a weight loss potion. And um, so I feel like I'm trying to figure out how the energy is gonna flow. So any extra energy that's in your body is going to be released into maybe the astral realm or some other kind of thing like that. That's my reasoning. I don't know if that made any fucking sense what I just said, but um, it's kind of where the energy is going that's in your body that you wanna get rid of. So it's about astral release for the lavender. Rose is for love, I believe. Um, yeah, the rose is for love energy. So tap into the power of love. Cayenne pepper is for transformation. Um, I'm sorry, cayenne, yeah, cayenne red pepper, the powder. Um, the white pine needles are for angelic energy, so to call upon um, a greater power. And the black tea is for somethingness. Because... Um, I mean, I kind of thought about this a little bit before, like, when I was coming up with the ingredients for this potion, I was trying to think about kind of how to make it the most powerful, because I really wanted it to work. And I think it is working a little bit. I mean, I think I would be further along if I actually took it every single day, like I should, but, um, anyway, but, um, so, um, as you're adding each ingredient to the potion, you want to say what the ingredient is for. Like when you're adding the lavender, say out loud, astral release. When you're adding in the white pine, say out loud, angelic powers. Anyway, so I'm going to let this come to a boil and I will be right back. All right, so the water's boiling and now I'm going to add the ingredients. Astro release. Love. Transformation. Somethingness. Angelic. Okay, now I'm going to say the spell three times. I remember the blessings of the seas and the land. Heavenly angels, lend me your hand. Grant me the body I truly desire to raise my confidence higher and higher. I remember the blessings of the seas and the land. Heavenly angels, lend me your hand. Grant me the body I truly desire 
to raise my confidence higher and higher. I remember the blessings of the seas and the land. Heavenly angels, lend me your hand. Grant me the body I truly desire to raise my confidence higher and higher. All right, now I'm going to set my timer for nine minutes because I think nine is a powerful number. It's the number of power, magical power. And um, I also think nine minutes is a very good amount of time for all the magic in the plants to get together and have a party. <laughs> so, and um, these plants are very excited to help me. I think um, they hold different energies within each of them, and I think I'm able to tap into that. So anyway, I'm going to let this boil for nine minutes, and I will be back. All right, the timer is about to go off in a few seconds. So um, I will say this isn't the greatest tasting potion. It is a little bit spicy, and it just does taste very strange, but um, it's nothing super unpalatable. And plus, each ingredient, I don't add that much to the potion. All right. So, now I'm going to turn off the heat. Um, I have my cup here. Um, I, if you follow me on X, then you might have seen this. But, um, I really like this cup. It's very, like, witchy looking, and I got it on Amazon, and, um, I like to use this especially if I'm ever drinking like any kind of potion or tea that I want to have some kind of magical effect on me, I'll usually drink it out of this cup for the most part. I use this cup sometimes too for like coffee and stuff, but if I'm ever having like a tea to reduce stress or something, I'll always use this cup. But anyway, so I got the potion, it's all done. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I usually, like I said, I think I said this, but I make enough for four doses at a time, because I don't want to have to make this every day, and plus, if I did that, there'd be a lot of waste. So, into my cup, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to pour just a little bit of the potion. I'm not going to fill up the cup completely with this potion. That's plenty. All right, I'm going to set this cup to the side. And now here I have a glass measuring cup, and the rest of the potion I'm going to put in the glass measuring cup. I'm going to strain it. This a measuring cup will make it easier for me to bottle it up. Okay, I gotta move you. Let's see. This the lighting might get kind of bad for this, but okay. Ooh, that's perfect. So here we have the dose I'm taking today. Here we have three of these little bottles. That light is the light behind my head is making this terrible. Um, I have three of these little bottles, which I think is the perfect amount of a dose. So um, let's bottle it up. I have my little. I think this is called a funnel. I'm pretty sure. It's really hot because I literally just took it off the heat. Now, by the way, I just want to say, sometimes when you make a magic potion, um, or at least this has been my experience, I, I mean, this has only happened to me once, but it is worth mentioning, um, you might feel like tingly all over in a pretty dramatic way, but I've taken potions many times and that's only happened once, I will say. So, I have a little bit, I'll just throw it away. Um... So, like, if you drink a potion, if you drink, like, a magical potion that you've put a spell on and you've enchanted it and you put your intention into it in that kind of way, it might make you feel, like, tingly all over when you drink it, but don't get freaked out because that'll only last, like, a minute. Or at least it did for me. When it happened to me, it, it was only, like, a minute, maybe two tops. So, and then it, I just felt totally, you know, whatever, normal. Um, okay, now I'm going to put the lids on it. These are really hot, so I'm actually going to, I'm just going to keep these on the counter for a few minutes and let them cool off, and then I'm going to put them in the fridge 
and then what every morning um, I'm gonna drink one of these um, I really don't know I've only been doing this now for like a month and like I said I haven't been taking it every single day like I want to because just out of laziness I just end up not making more of the potion but um that's what it looks like it's a really pretty color um, but anyway, so I'm going to let this potion cool off a little bit, then I'm going to drink this. And um, thank you for watching, and uh, let me know how it works for you. And I will say, you know, I call this a weight loss potion, but I feel like, and even the wording of the spell, I feel like it's it's more of like, give me the body that I want. Um and don't think it's crazy. Like, there's nothing, you know, I, you know, I just think why, there, there's no reason why this couldn't work, you know. Um, but anyway. And I think it's already working for me. And like I said, I feel like it's to give you the body that you desire, that you want. It's not necessarily going to make you lose weight and lose weight and lose weight and be, like, super skinny. It's going to transform your body into something that you want it to be. And, and every time I drink this, um, right before I drink it, I think about what I want to change about my body. So, like, for me, I've been thinking I want my butt to be a little bit bigger, and I want, like, my midsection to just be a little bit more toned looking. And, um, because, I mean, weight's not, like, a huge issue for me, but I, I do want it to be tweaked a little bit. So, right before you drink it, think about what exactly you want to be different and um all right i'm gonna go thank you for watching there's a few more videos i want to make today for this witchy channel but um i had a lot of fun doing this i actually love making up um, making this potion i love whipping this up i have a lot of fun doing it and it really gets me thinking all right so all right bye